My intellect is without limit. Stacks, and I'm back with more Shia. So we're going to dive into this Abzan version. I said I was putting this version together when I put out the white green version the other day. And I got to say, I like this version a lot better. It's a lot more resilient against all of the spamming removal that's going on in the current meta right now. So um, I love that about it. I like the fact that it gets to still be a creature deck, but it gets to stand up to removal. So um, any deck like that is going to be a stacks deck because I love the beat face action, as we all know. So <laughs> uh, real quick before I get into the deck tech, though, um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. And if you have been subscribed in the past, please make sure that you are still subscribed because I've been finding out from people that they have been randomly getting unsubscribed to me. So make sure you're still subscribed if you have been subscribed in the past. So enough of all that. Let's go ahead and dive into this deck tech here of the Abzan version. So I got three Gilded Goose. I went down from four, went down to, to, to three. Um, I went up to four on Lotus Cobra because I feel like Lotus Cobra is a lot more important in this version than it is in the white green version. Uh, we are in three colors now, so Lotus Cobra presents a lot more value. Um, and then I still got the four Dryads of Leash and Grove. I went up from three Mammoths up to four now. And I have four uh, Lanoir Visionary, whereas I only had three in the other build. So that gives us tw uh, 12 three drops. So... There's a very important reason why all these three drops in here, and that's because of Karuga. We need to get maximum value off of Karuga, and these guys ramp our mana, except for the, the Mammoth, but the Mammoth can fill in if we don't actually draw any lands, we can actually play him for a land, because as we all know, the game will sometimes screw you out of drawing lands. So in the event that that happens, we can play a, the Mammoth in a pinch um, as a land. And then I went down to two Yasharn and Placable Earth. Um, I was running four in the other build, but that's we were only two colors. Then now we're three colors, and we're uh, we're swamp intensive. So um, we only need the two copies of him now. It, he is very useful to be able to fetch up those uh, those plains and and swamp. Uh, excuse me, plains and and forest when we need it, but. Running for him is not worth it because we aren't running enough basics to have four of him in it now. Um, we only run in three planes and four four. So a lot of times you play him and you'll end up fetching up your last couple of copies of those two particular basics anyway. Um, and then I got three Kenrys. I went up from two Kenrys up to three because now that I've been playing this version of the deck, Kenrith is really an all-star of the deck. He he is more so the all-star than. Ashaya is. Ashaya is more so just a our finisher, our beat stick. When you really think about it, what green creature does green really have right now in the standard meta that, that's like the beater, the stomper. Like we don't have a big 1010 trampler or a cradle hoop behemoth or anything like that. So Ashaya is it. There's no green creature that has the potential to naturally be bigger than Ashaya can be. So I mean she counts all your lands, she counts all your creatures. Um, as lands and, and that, that determines her power and toughness. So a lot of times she's easily over 10-10. So um, Ashaya is it. So there's a lot of times where Ashaya, you know, she'll she'll meet removal, um, but then Kimrith just brings her right back with Trampling Haste. And um, <laughs> they have to deal with it. They have to deal with that combo. If they can choose to get rid of Kimrith or choose to get rid of Ashaya, but a lot of times they can't get rid of both. Unless they're running the board wipe. And if that's the case, then they just end up dying. Because it doesn't matter if you remove a Shia. Um, Kenrith just brings it right back with haste. So they have to make the decision of killing Kenrith. But in the event they do, then we got Eerie Ultimatum to bring all our stuff back from the graveyard. So you'll see that in the gameplay. There's a lot of times why, I, I mean, <laughs> right off the bat, the first couple of matches I have on the, on the ending matches is the spam removal, spam removal, spam removal. And um, they get down to the last couple of cards, and then I Eerie Ultimatum and get my whole board back. And it's just pretty much over from there. So um, that's the road it's going in, in the current meta right now. And then Karuga, he gives us so much value. He, he's our way of getting card advantage. So in the early game, our three drops are going to be getting killed. Uh, our Cobras are going to be getting killed. You got to expect that. You know that's the game everybody's playing. But... Karuga will start to net us card advantage if 
one or two creatures manage to stay out on the field. You play a Karuga, you get to draw some cards. Or you can return it with Kindred, and then he'll start drawing a card every time he comes back into play because Kindred is in play. So if you only have a Kindred and you keep reanimating Karuga, you're getting your 5 4 back and you're drawing a card. So that's another situation you'll see in one of the videos in, in the gameplay. So a lot of synergies going on. And if you play Eerie Ultimatum, Eerie Ultimatum feels more powerful than Genesis Ultimatum in this deck because if you play it, you get Karuga back with a bunch of different 3 3s and your Yashan or your Kenrith or whatever. Let's just say you get three different creatures back with your Karuga off of Eerie Ultimatum. You're establishing a solid board. Karuga's going to draw you all those cards and it just gets to be insanity. So Eerie Ultimatum really feels powerful in this deck. And you wouldn't really think to have Eerie Ultimatum in just a, a, a regular deck that's not milling itself. That's always been the game plan when it comes to Eerie Ultimatum is to put it into a deck where you putting your own cards in the graveyard where you're milling yourself. But you don't need to do that with this deck because let your opponent do it. Let them waste the cards. Let them use all of their stuff to put to kill your creatures and put them in your graveyard. And then you just Eerie Ultimatum and get everything back. That Your opponent's doing all the work for you by killing all of your stuff. <laughs> So that that's the, some real good synergy that I like about this deck with the current meta is that you really don't have to focus on milling yourself. Um, let your opponent do the work for you by with, by wasting their own spells on killing your stuff. Um, and then I went down to uh, three undo inversion. I had four, but I went down to three. I only went down. I went down to three of shires and three inversion. It just you just don't feel like you need four copies. Um, of both in this deck because um, you overpower your opponent so easily so um, you may need to board wipe once if they get ahead of you but you probably won't end up having to board wipe again so and then I'm running like 30 lands I think so yeah I'm running the 23 lands basic well you know regular lands um, and then I got the spell lands so I got the elephant for him and then I got the undo inversions and then I got the symbiosis only went down I went down to one copy of that I was running three copies of it but I went down to one I only feel like I feel like the one is just is all you really need you only you only want to see it one time so yeah with the spell lands and the regular lands I got uh, 30 lands I took the Emerus call completely out as I said in the original video I'm not in love with Emerus call but that's the big flashy white mythic spell that we have right now for the meta so you know excess mana you might as well use it um but i was not i'm not i'm not a big fan of that card so swapping eerie ultimatum out um with emerald's call feels like a win to me um and then for the sideboard i got three scavenging ooze three elspeth uh nightmare three gem ray uh yeah three gem razor two uh no excuse me three world shaper so i like to bring world shaper in and uh, Agadim's Awakening and uh, this uh, Kazandu Stomper if I'm going up against Mill. So you play you play your, your World Shaper, they kill it. <laughs> or, you know, they whatever they're going to do to it. You attack with it, they block it and kill it. Or they, you know, spot removal because they're spot removal happy. And they've been milling you. Well, you get all those lands back. You got your Stomper in. You can use Kimrith to bring him back from the grave with the reanimate ability if he's in the grave. And you can keep bouncing your um, your spell lands and keep using them over and over again. So I've done that a few times against Mill and Best of Three. Um I like I like the way that 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 uh that synergy plays, but you know, strictly for best of one, I think that this list is pretty solid for best of one. Still, my honest feeling about the deck is that it, it is a tier two deck it's still a tier two deck there's a lot of decks out there that are just a lot faster a lot you know they could just get you behind the curve so bad so so quickly that you won't be able to catch up sometimes but this deck has the ability to come out fast too so um it's just a matter of what you draw um usually a hand that doesn't have a goose or a lotus cobra in it in the beginning it's probably a hand you don't want to keep, um, but you know it just depends on what you end up drawing and how you how you feel about the sequences of plays that you have the potential to pull off. So, yeah, this deck's a lot of fun. I like it a lot better than the white green version, but uh, that is enough talking about it. We're gonna go ahead and get into the gameplay. 
Oh, I cannot keep this. All right, this is better. Uh, I just put the bird back, I guess. Kimari, Kohi. Kimari, where have I heard that name? Oh, that's the character from Final Fantasy. I always felt he never got justice. His tribe being slaughtered by Seymour. <laughs> I missed that game. All right, is my goose gonna eat a Blood Chief's thirst here? Blood Chief's thirst. No, he just wants to draw cards. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and play my Dryad. Feel much better piloting this deck, this version, than I did the white green version. White green version is just too susceptible to removal. You wanna kill my Dryad? No. All right. Uh, I'll play the elephant. Hopefully the elephant doesn't die. So I can get some, I can get maximum value off Karuga. Swing for two here. But I suspect the elephant will be dying. Or maybe not, you just want to draw cards. You do realize you can only have seven cards in your hand at the end of the, your turn, right? <laughs> Bet that's like eight, nine removal spells in his hand. <laughs> oh, dire tactics. Well, can't get that back. Elephant is gone forever. Oh, look at you now. You have to discard because you holding so much removal. All right, land. I need this on uh, white. Uh, just swing for two again. My opponent. Has a fistful of removal now. Oh, shatter. That's fine. Oh, got Nashaya. All right, let's go ahead and play her now. I'm sure she will be the recipient of a of a nifty removal spell. <laughs> oh man. Daxos. Alright, uh, I guess I just play another Karuga. No value this time. Daxos. <laughs> Hell spit up conscious death. Alright, uh, what do you got in your graveyard? Just a speaker? Alright, my plan here moving forward is to just play possum let him build up his board so I can inversion the board um, no I'm not gonna play this I uh, just pass alright go ahead and pile it up pile your board up unless your last four cards are removal they probably are. <laughs> I have nothing else. I have nothing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and play my visionary. I can draw a card. That's fine. Maybe it'll draw the, another removal spell. Oh, it might be thinking about removing it now. Uh, eliminate? Oh. <laughs> oh, there's my, there's my ultimatum. Alright. Elephant. Oh, my elephant got exiled. He's not in the graveyard. That's alright. I needed it, I needed it as a land anyway. Wow. <laughs> wow. The removal is real. Too bad I'm going to get all my stuff back here. Yes. Go ahead and empty your hand. Yes. 
it resolves. Gonna play your Murder Shrider? That's what I would do. <laughs> Go ahead. Flood the board. Flood it. <laughs> Whelming wave. It resolves. It all resolves. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm going down to eight. And, uh, let's put this down as, uh, I guess black. <laughs> and let's go ahead and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's only half of it. Wait till you see my next spell. So I have a plan. <laughs> I'm the guy with the plan. Even though I don't look like it. Yes, fill your hand with that removal. Alright. Uh, let's get everything back. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright. Let's go ahead and uh, play the elephant. <laughs> what, what you got, man? <laughs> Hello? You have another shot in the sky? Sad, sad he drawn? No? Hello? <laughs> if you don't have a shot of the sky, you might as well scoop it up. Or are you gonna rope me? It's alright. I got a bowl packed and ready. If this turns into a roping session. <laughs> oh. 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 Alright. Well, I'll kill your angel. And um, I'll play my Dryad here so I won't have to play him next turn. He may bait out a removal. So that Kinrith doesn't have to eat it. Kimari. What say you? Oh, he's digging in his graveyard. He's gonna... He's gonna... Oh, awakening. <laughs> you got the same ideas as me. Uh, let's go ahead and play a Shia. Kenrith. And. Might as well give my Shia haste. Let's find haste. Uh. Wait, it's the first one. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, swing for 14 here. Won't be making any angels today. All right. And uh, I'm going to eat five here from his angel. But unless he removes Kenrith, I pretty much got this. Yeah, that's fine. We ain't worried about Light of Promise. Kimari. Oh, sad he drawn. <laughs> All my stuff is lands. <laughs> it lands. <laughs> Go ahead and hit me for five. You gain five life. <laughs> Ouch. Alright. I think you're very dead now. Um, uh, God, my graveyard. Uh, really nothing worth getting back. Let's go ahead and uh, play Karuga. Play my Visionary. Uh, this is plenty to kill. Let's 
go ahead and uh, give everything trampling haste here. Kimari! It was a good match, man. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Face. <laughs> All right, this is a keepable hand. Sprice. Oh, playing green. Green shrooms. I have a goose. See your shrooms, and I raise you a goose. Gonna put a put a count on your shroom. So he can kill my goose. Oh, he's gonna put two counters on it. All right, well I'm taking three. All right, let's uh, let's get this swamp down. Play the dryad. This is why I don't mind running goose in this deck. Feels like I don't fall behind on mana when I go goose into dryad. Nullifies Goose's his uh, disability of making you fall by oh ooze. All right, uh, I think let me play my snake. Put this down as white. Add a green. Play visionary. Another dryad. Alright, um, uh, play this. And I will make a food token. Alright, I really would like to draw a Karuga here. Karuga will draw me two cards, put a 5 4 body on the field, be in good position. So I might just take this damage here. Oh, oh, that's bad. Use some extra counters. Oh, Sprice. Alright, I'm gonna take this. Because I'd hate to block in the top deck of Karuga. No, not a Karuga. <clears throat> Add white. Alright. Can I eat my food token and play inversion? No. I only got exactly enough to play inversion. Uh... I can't keep taking this damage, so I gotta play inversion. All right, board clear. Watch me top deck a Karuga now. <laughs> That's my luck. Oh no, it's even worse. A land. All right. Uh, I might as well fetch. I need a swamp. In case I top deck a uh, ultimatum. Ultimatum, where art thou? Uh oh, oh man, wilt. <laughs> Why is that card main deck? Oh, Karuga, you're late to the party, man. Where have you been? Just a tad bit late here. Uh oh. You gonna what are you gonna do? Ram through? No, ram through doesn't get it. Might have that dinosaur fight spell, the one that's X and one green. If so, I'm dead. Sprice. Oh no. <laughs> why why would you do that? Alright. Got Kenrith now. Can't play anything. Put a counter on him. Wish I could give him haste. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, no point in putting a counter right now. I'll save that as a combat trick if I need it. <clears throat> that's that's bad. Um. All right. What I got in my grave here. Karuga. It's not a whole lot of plethora of options here. 
Alright, I guess the play is to play... Can I... Uh, yeah, play my goose. Reanimate Karuga. Karuga will draw me a card. Karuga, buddy. Thanks for showing back up to the party. Now you're the forest. Alright. Well, if that ooze didn't put a counter on himself when he attacked, I could put a counter on Karuga and kill it, but that won't work. Alright, uh, guess I just block with Karuga and eat my food to get some life back. Alright, oh, Mammoth. Uh, yeah, let's play the Mammoth. Karuga will draw me two cards now. Karuga! You keep returning. <laughs> the synergy. Let's play. Oh man, come on. <laughs> it was getting good. <laughs> I want to play, so I guess I'll keep it. It's a keeper. Zeke. Oh man, what a nickname to have right now. <laughs> After Ezekiel Elliott. From the Dallas Cowboys. He hasn't been playing too great since he got his contract. <laughs> Is this going to be Gruel Aggro? Or Gruel Mid Range? Oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I think I need to play this Mammoth as a land. So I'm kind of short on lands here. Uh oh, what is this? Just death touch comes block, destroy creature. All right, all right. Uh, play this. Karuga, excellent. All right, well, I can't block him. That's why he has this. He wants it if you block something with it. If he has this equipped to it, then it'll kill whatever it block, whatever blocks it. I'm taking five. All righty. I guess I just play a Shia here. It's all good. Kenrith, Kenrith gets it, gets the Shia back. <laughs> but I won't even, I won't even block with the Shia. I'll just play my Karuga and block with him. But they don't know that. Zeke doesn't know that. Man. I think Stax is gonna do. Will he block? Shall I equip? You know what? You're gonna equip your your shield. Please tell me you have something more. <laughs> He's thinking. He's probably got five removal spells in his hand now. All burn. Don't think too hard now. Need some love to help you think. <laughs> All right. Wants to draw them lands. Swing. No swing. All right. Uh. I think I just need to go ahead and I want I want him to put some more stuff on the board. So I'm gonna play this. And I'll play my mammoth. And 
I'll swing with a Shia. Why not? <laughs> Wanna block? <laughs> You're advised to do so. Alright. Karuga will make my hand very plentiful. Alright, no 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 need in worrying about blowing that up right now. Um I could just I'm gonna play Kenrith. And uh I'm gonna go in for the kill here. <laughs> What say you? <laughs> Do you have any responses? No, because you don't have any you don't have any mana available. I think you need the sad emoji now. <laughs> Are you roping me? Roping is not nice. You're defeated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the salt, the salt is, is, is great with this one. <laughs> you salty, salty man. <laughs> Either way, you got 20 damage coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the play. I'll keep this. Got some elephants. The elephants. Uh, that's not a land. I guess I gotta play this. Since the game is not giving me any lands. Any green lands, anyway. Counter. Flash and rogue. Oh, no. <laughs> Grixis master. I take it you're playing Grixis. I don't see Grixis colors yet. I see counter magic up, though. Attempt to cast an elephant. Does it resolve? Of course not. But I will pay three and get this snake down. <laughs> Gonna kill my snake. Kill it with Blood Chief's thirst thirst. And then keep up counter magic. No. Alright. Uh, Kenrith? Can I have a Kenrith? Counter? Frantic inventory? That's not a counter. Attack you with my snake. Board wipe? On odd. No, I know he has counter magic up now. All right. What do I want to do? Let's just attack first. Attack with all. Oh. <laughs> what is he going to block? Do I block my Kenrith? Yes, I can put counters on my Kenrith if you do block Kenrith. 
All right, blocking the snake. Um, uh, I could put counters on my snake, but I I really don't care that much about my snake. Well, but he's then he's gonna have a five four on the board. So it's saving the snake that important to me. I can play the Yeshan, fetch up my lands. So that's what I really need to do. So Yeshan blocks the shark. That's fine. Grixis Master. I still don't have any swamps yet for my eerie ultimatum. You gonna blow up my my yes arm? As one does. Sacrifice a creature. All right, I sacrifice my visionary. Make me sacrifice another creature. They're gonna kill Kenry. <laughs> I have another one. Just in case you want to know. Oh, you wanna hold up counter magic. Which one is more valuable to you right now? <laughs> Swing with your shark. That's what I'd like you to do. Alright. I'm gonna swing with both. Since he's just wanna hold up counter magic. All right, Kenrith gives himself a counter. Uh, I could just put counters on on my my board here. Get maximum damage in. Force him to have to deal with it. You had two life. What say you? I'm not going to cast anything till you deal with my board. <laughs> Grixis. Master. <laughs> he can't save you. <laughs> I love it though. <laughs> Playing against the Matrix. Um. Uh... Can't keep that. This is better. Guess I put the elephant back. Matrix. Oh, mono red aggro. Mono red. My goose is gonna get stomped. Gonna get squashed like an insect. At least I have a food token. <laughs> Go ahead. Stomp it. <laughs> like clockwork. So predictable. You know you're not playing a stacks deck when your plays are so predictable. Hey, white. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You don't know what I'm doing, but you're going to kill my snake, aren't you? I know you are. He has to be the recipient of removal. <laughs> removal all day. Now you only have two cards left in your hand. Have another goose. Want to kill it? Kill it. Matrix. Oh, the Bolt Hound. That's a thing. All right, I'm taking six. I need some food here. Help keep me alive. All right. Uh, get this down, I guess, swamp, 
Play a Shia. So at least I have a decent blocker now. I can block things without worrying about it falling to, to doom. I missed the Matrix. Neo. Neo! You're the one. Annex. You're not the one. Um. <laughs> uh, I guess I play this. Let me draw a card. Kindred. Good to see you, buddy. Um, and I will not play anything else because I need blockers. Wait. I can play this land. I do need land. I will not pay life for it. But <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, oh, you have a is a bone crusher in the non-interactive zone coming into play now. All right, resolve. I guess. Uh, I want to kill here. Guess I kill the hound. Uh, I'm gonna kill. What is this it? The charger? And I'll kill I well I won't kill Annex, but he'll be blocked. He's blocked. Create a food token. Need that. Gonna do uh two damage to me. Alright. Uh, I guess I play the elephant. I'm gonna play Kenrith. No, 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 wait a minute. Um, yeah, I'll play Kenrith. And play this as a land. Alright, chill on defense here. Start chopping these, chopping his forces down here. It's the Neo. Got my grave. Nothing. Nothing worth getting. Maybe a visionary. Draw a card. Uh, let's kill your annex. Kill one of your giants. Don't gotta worry about Embercleave. Smart player would have held that land in his hand. Force my decisions. All right. I don't think uh, getting a visionary back is worth it. Just gonna gain some life. Getting extremely low here. Play a dryad. Now I can I can tap Ashaya and Kimrith to gain uh, life from my food token. Why, why don't you hold that in your hand? Make me think it's an Embercleave. Alright, um. Uh, let's kill your giant. Kill your champion. Kill one of your tokens. Eat my food. <laughs> Too easy. Alright. Um. Uh, is that 20? Uh, I want to do. I could go for the kill, but I want to torture him a little bit more. <laughs> so, me just gain five life. Play my dryad, <laughs> and uh, I'll just swing with a shire. I want to kill the rest of these tokens. <laughs> I could have I could have put counters on my my dryad and gave everything haste and swung swung with that and killed him, but it's not as fun. I want to style style on mono red. <laughs> <laughs> I 
What are you doing? You got Amber Cleave? Let's find out. Amber Cleave? No. <laughs> Oh. Oh, the infamous shock to my dome. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Let me see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a counter on my dryad. <laughs> Play my Karuga. Draw some cards. Give everything haste. Haste and trample. Swing for lots. <laughs> it's a keeper. I gotta fetch up my green source though. Old oh, game. Why don't you like giving me green? I have a green avatar over here. I like this avatar. It's better than the, the fox over there. All right, got my green. I'm gonna need a Karua so I can draw some cards. Uh oh, that means my snake is gonna eat removal. Stomp. Stomp my snake. Oh no. Can't stomp yet. Am I actually going to get some value? He may have the the one damage spike through the hand. <laughs> uh oh, Rakdos. All right. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Uh, do I want to play this land now? Yeah, I might as well go ahead and play it. Nothing to do with my manas. But I'm going to attack you with my snake. My snaketh. Going to kill my snake? Oh, there's that stomp. It's late to the party. Now you got a 7-7 seven, seven to deal with. <laughs> Let's go. Extinction event. Oh. Agro mauling. Eh. Whatever that is. Alright, uh, I need another green. In case my Dryad bites the bullet here. Gonna kill my Karuga. Removal, coming up. Oh no, he just got a giant. Just a giant. All right. Uh, attack with Karuga first. Oh no. If I if I attack, he's gonna block it with his mire. Then I'm gonna have to eat four from the giant. That's fine though. No, actually, it's not. I don't. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to say no attacks. Pass. Uh oh, is those crooks is going in the graveyard. How many? Oh, none. Just some lands. Uh oh, this is going to be bad for you. 
Cycling. You gonna swim with your Mar? Might as well. You're gonna keep it back on defense. <laughs> Smart person. I'm gonna go ahead and put a counter on Makaruga. Because he's gonna be the one doing the doing the attacking here. Let's I can bring back my yeah, I'm gonna bring back my Shia. Let's give everything haste and trample. Oops, no. Go back. Let's tap this for red. Play my goose. Let's go ahead and swing. <laughs> you gonna double block Karuga? <laughs> Are you just gonna take the 12? Are you taking all of it? You dying. <laughs> I don't think they realize they got trampled. <laughs> I have a snake. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it. I don't understand how so often though. I have 12, 12 three drops in this deck. And very often I never draw. I never have any of them in my initial hand. Red, that means my snake is gonna get burned. Oh, here's some Rakdos. My snake is gonna eat a stomp here. If it doesn't eat a stomp, I'll play my Yisharn. Oh, that's not a stomp. All right, things are gonna get, things are gonna spiral out of control very rapidly here for you. Um. Just play this. Get green. You better start removing my stuff. Or things are going to get out of control fast. There's a removal. What about my yes, Sean? You got something for him? Or just another Meyer? I want those croaks in the graveyard? <laughs> yeah, I ain't care. I don't care about that. Take your two. Let me get this triom down. Just hang back for now. Where is all my three drops? Uh oh. Gonna discard for removal? I'll just keep taking you two for now. Does this cost mana to activate? No. Oh, they always they always get lucky. That was a heartless act. I don't know how they always get so lucky. If I was playing a mechanic like that, I'd just be getting lands all the time. Well, I would have really liked the Dryad. He would have sped things up here. But I'll play a Karuga. Guess they're going to play this Croaksa here. Oh no, you're gonna play Lily. Liliana. You wish you had a fraction of my power. It's gonna be a long road trying to get to. Oh, there's an Ashaya. All 
All right, if they don't, if he doesn't get rid of my Shia, then uh, I'm gonna boil wipe him. I think he's gonna get his. All right, that's fine. I ain't worrying about that. Everything must go. What is? Why is he attacking with this? Why is he attacking with that? Um, I think I think he's thinking because if he deals well this is five he doesn't have another red though he may draw one but he doesn't he doesn't have one on the field so I can go down to two. I don't know this guy, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the bait. I may need to get camera down though, like. I think I need to get Kenrith down and gain some life because I'm I'm getting low here. Is if he draws a if he draws a a red source and is able to play that Croxa, I could risk it and see what happens. This is a hard decision here. If I if I blow up everything and he draws a red, then I'm just dead. If I play Kenrith, gain five life, I live. Uh, but then these guys are gonna attack me. Yeah, I think either way, the best the best thing to do is to wipe the board and just bank that he doesn't draw a red source. What'd you get? Oh, it's not a red source. It would have auto jammed it if it was a red source. I swiveled out of it. <laughs> All right, Kenrith. Uh, swing. All right, you can get your you can get your croxa, but I'm gonna gain five life. If you make me sack my Ashaya, then it's just bad for you. <laughs> Cause I'll just get it back. Oh, this is actually a good matchup here. I'm not gonna sack my Kenrit, man. Probably thinking he shouldn't have attacked now. <laughs> There's another black source. What do I got in my grave? Take five. I'm gonna gain five life. 
Red source? No. <laughs> no, he's like, man! What is this? What is going on? All I need here... All I need is a Cobra. And I think I have one of those in my graveyard. Yeah, I got a Cobra in my graveyard. Let's reanimate my Lotus Cobra. I need to go in full control mode. Give everything trait, trample in haste. Good game. 